Hey, what's happening guys? I've got something pretty cool to share with you today. I have got the Infrared P2 Pro, which is a thermal imaging camera. Wait, you see how small it is. So inside the box you get a lens cleaning cloth. You get a little bag to put it in and uh, a couple of these cards there's really not a great deal of information to read here so we'll put all this back and here you just have a uh, USB cable a nice little pull cord and here it is. Now this little guy is no joke. I don't know if you guys remember, but a couple years ago, I did a video on a camera called the uh, HY-18. So the HY-18, and you can see it right there, I got from Banggood a couple years ago. And it's the first thermal camera I've ever played with. But it has... It had some severe limitations. I mean, its resolution was 24 by 32. I mean, that's like nothing. For instance, the resolution on this camera is 256 by 192. So, you know, that's quite a bit of difference. And now, if you take a look over here, you can see a shot I did of my hand. So let's recreate that with the Infinity P2 Pro. So all I have to do is get my camera, which I just reset. I've already downloaded the app. Oops, wrong button there. Take the camera, plug it into my USB port. It takes a second for the software to load. And once the software loads, I have to move the camera a bit so you guys can see what I'm doing here. You know, there's my hand. And that is quite a difference from the other picture, right? All right, let's see if we can recreate the shot that I did in that first video. So my hand looks like it's about here. Wow. You guys can't really see in the camera. There we go. <laughs> That's my handprint on the desk. How cool is that? All right. So there's basically the same shot. Okay. So next up, what we're going to do here is I have some resistors connected in parallel. I think this is a 4.7. I better just check them. I set this up last night. And I don't remember <laughs> the, the values I used. So pardon me for one second. Well, I make sure that we've got the values correct. Come on. Huh. For some reason now it says it's a capacitor. Oh, because they're all in parallel. That's probably why. So I've created capacitance. Nice pointer. Okay, so we started at 47 ohm, then 470, 4.7, etc., etc., all the way up to 
This is a uh, 4.7 meg. So we got the power supply up over here. When we turn that on, we will be energizing this little circuit with five volts. You can see it's pulling 100 milliamps, about a half a watt. So we'll get down in there, get our camera, attach it to the phone. Bring us in closer so you guys can see better. So there is the 47 ohm, which you can see is at 320 degrees Fahrenheit. There's the next one, 73 degrees, 72 degrees, and 71 degrees. That one's getting higher, 98. That's that guy, yeah. 315. All right, let me turn this off before we blow everything up. I'm looking to see if my LED thing does anything. No, nah, not really. Okay, so next, let's do this again, but this time we're going to get out the micro teleconverter. These boxes are really nice, really well fit, and really well done. <laughs> and they're very hard to get open. There we are, the teleconverter. We'll pop it out. And it is magnetic. We're going to remove the lens cap. And it should just clips right on there. And now, if we take a look. So there's one resistor, next one, next one. Now, another feature of this, which is kind of cool, so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Yeah, there's that hot one. 335 degrees. We can come over here to the palette. We can go black and white, so we have a white hot. And as you, I don't know how well you can see, but we have a very nice image with this particular palette. This is where we were, iron red. We have rainbow, which is kind of nice. Now, that looks white and blue to you, but I see red and green and yellow. Rainbow 2. Rainbow 3. This is called Red Hot. So just the really tips there that are red or red, everything else is kind of gray. We have Hot Iron and Black Hot. But I don't know, if you don't need the colors, I think the White Hot provides the best view. And there's my hand in the white hot. Let me take off the micro teleconverter here. I wish you could see like how clean that picture is. I know the camera's really not picking it up too well. But, like, you see the hair on my knuckles sticking up there. The camera's just excellent. Now we can also switch it into video mode. Bring in my resistors once again. So there's that one getting hot. 
let's put this in rainbow one mode and then I'm going to record this and I will show you the recording Oops. So a thermal cam is an excellent tool for troubleshooting any sort of electronic items. But it's useful for other things besides electronics. Think you're having uh, one of your brakes is dragging? Point the camera at all your different wheels, whichever one's hottest, you know, there you go. They're very, very useful. So here is uh, my relay board burnout tester, and I've just got them rolling through there. And it's of course driven by this Arduino. So let's get the camera and we'll take a look here. I know it's hard to see. Let's uh, put this in black and white. Yes, yeah, so I'm not really seeing anything there at all. Look to the Arduino. Now we are seeing a little bit of heat from the Arduino. This is so hard for me to try and get this all on the screen like this. Man. Let me get a different view. Hold on. Okay, so there we are looking at the Arduino. And this is the professional photometry. I think so we can what we can do here oops, I can say point and it tells me P1 and what the temperature is I can say what's this over oops here and there's P2 it's saying it's put in different ones or turn the point can I turn them off yeah okay we can do a rectangle Just like that and anything in that rectangle we get the average the maximum and the minimum temperatures and then we also have a scale which will tell us the uh, what's the word I'm looking for the temperature range yeah it's very cool get that out of there I just want to try one more thing here with the professional thing. Okay, so there's my hand. And if I say point there, 81 degrees, till you put the scale in, scale, rectangle, how's that area? Average, max, min. Yeah. I am no expert on 3D cameras, but uh, that little guy is cool. So I'd like to thank Infinere for sending this out to us for our consideration free of charge. And I would like to thank you guys for watching this video. And I would like to thank all of my patrons as well. I would not be here without you guys. There's a Patreon link down below and you can see it there. Learn elect www.patreon.com slash learn electronics. We have a couple different tiers, but a dollar a month is all it costs. Helps keep the channel going and keep us making more videos. So, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good Sunday. Happy Mother's. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Whether they're with us or they've passed on to the great beyond, none of us would be here without our moms. God bless each and every one of you. God bless your moms. That's it. I'm out. Peace.